All right, so in this video here, we're going to be connecting the Fitbit Sense to our smartphone. Uh, I'm going to be using Android, so maybe a little bit different if you're on an iPhone. Uh, but in either case, we're going to be using the Fitbit app, which is the first thing that you need to install. As you can see right here on my home screen is the Fitbit app so that we can get started with that. Now, I will say, because I already had this app installed, um, as soon as I turned on the, um, the uh, watch here, which just so you know, it's not a physical button. It's like a tactile um, haptic response button right there on the side, right where it is on the other watches. It's just not a physical button. But it did actually pop up right away on my phone uh, asking if I wanted to set up the new device. Um, so I can't show you that here in the video because it only popped up once. Um, but we're going to go ahead and uh, add a new device here. So I'm going to go to my um, profile, the account icon in the top left corner, and we're going to click set up a device. And we're going to wait for it to discover our, our selected device here. So it's going to be a sense. And then we're going to click con, uh, switch to sense. And let's see what we get here. All right. So we agree to the new agreement. All right. We need to connect our charger. So we've got the charger connected. We're going to hit next. Let's see if it automatically finds it. There it goes. Right. Enter the pairing code from the device. It's going to be different on your device. It's going to show up on the watch. So you can see here it is pairing. Pair and connect. Allow Fitbit to manage. Do not need device protection. We're good there. And now we need to set up Wi-Fi. You can see the watch uh, continues to update with this as well. All right, so let's go ahead and plug in our Wi-Fi password. And this is a similar process regardless of what Fitbit device you have. Um, I will say this is actually a lot smoother, seems like, already than it was with the Versa 2. It just seems to be quicker and more responsive. Okay, now we have the big update. Um, let's see how long this takes because I do remember on the Versa series this could sometimes take 30 minutes um, or even longer. So we'll give that some time to run here and then we'll check back in. All right, the update's been going for a couple minutes here. Um, it's going to look at just a couple of the features here on the phone while we're waiting that to uh, install. So it has advanced health features. Give you an idea of what the functionality are of it. I don't, I didn't look exactly to see what is different from the Versa 2 to the Sense. I'm assuming some of this is definitely new. I believe the ECG app is new. Um, the heart rate notifications are probably new. Skin temperature new. Um, I don't remember any of that being on the previous. Voice assistant. It's actually interesting. Oh, it is. it does do Google. Okay, that's good. I was going to say, I, I know it used to be just Alexa, I believe, but since Google owned Fitbit, I would assume this would be much more integrated with Google as time goes on. So it looks like it is. Stress tracking and management. I know the app just recently came out with the stress management. I do, don't know if this watch will do a better job with that. I will post a follow-up review um, probably here in a couple days after using it, just to give you an idea of what I like, don't like about the watch in general. Exercise and GPS um, looks pretty similar to what I've experienced before, or never had an issue with the first Fitbit. Sleep tracking. Um, I use sleep tracking on the current Versa 2, so I don't think anything's changed there. Maybe just a little more accurate. Pay from your wrist. I don't know if that was available before or not. I never used it if it was, um, so I'm going to say it probably is a new feature. Um, or at least something they're doing a better job at promoting. Although it does say Fitbit Pay. Again, I wish Google would be integrating this more and that that would be Google Pay as well. And then take calls from your wrist. Um, yep, built-in mic and speaker. I, the previous one did not have the, um, the speaker on it. So you could not fully take the call um, from your wrist. So that is definitely a upgrade uh, for this device here. All right, so we are updated now. Um, took about 
10 minutes for it to download and update. Um, so we're ready to continue in the app. All right, uh, let's see, voice privacy, doo -doo -doo. got it. Setup Assistant, um, I'm using an Android, so we're gonna be using Google Assistant. So FYI, if you've got a iPhone, doesn't look like you've got support. Um, well, I don't know, maybe if you install this on an iPhone, it does. Again, you're getting the Android experience here. So uh, yes, I will use Google Assistant, we'll activate that. Activate on Sense, yes. Connect it to your Google account. Sure. <laughs> I agree. Take all my data. <laughs> all right. Um, assistant sleep by Google would like the ability to access and write the following data to your Fitbit account. Sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. I like to see all the features. Okay. Assistant's all set. Set up on risk controls. Uh, so you keep your sense nearby, connects available devices. Sense controls. Ah, found it. So we can set up sense controls here as an additional device. Confirming the code matches, pair. And then we'll go back. All right, so now the phone has access to control uh, phone calls and other things. New features are ready. Readiness score, connectivity indicators, outdoor workout mode. Okay, monitor your oxygen saturation level. All right, changing the band. Oh, ooh, they did actually change the, how you uh, pull the band. That's probably a lot easier than it used to be. It used to be a little um, clip that you had to pull in and out. So that looks a lot easier. Wearing the watch. Why not? Let's go ahead and try it on. So we just slide it through the hole. Pull it tight. And then it just clips over the latch right there. Which actually is really nice and then the extra that slide under yes it tucks under that at first glance seems like it might be uncomfortable but it's actually not right now but i'll let you know after a couple days so there we go um it's a nice nice little clamp to get that on view the latest notifications by just swiping down so there's, oh boy, now it's going to, hold on. <laughs> We're not going to be able to do this with this one. There you go. There's the main screen on the watch. And then swipe down for your notifications. It's all right there in the app. Swipe up to access your favorite. That's a new feature. Don't remember that from before. Next, swipe right to access common watch settings. So that's the same as it was before. That's all your apps. Or no, swipe right. That is different to get to your quick panel. And then swipe left to get up to all your apps. So you basically have four directions swipe. Each one will do something different. Um, pretty common. Pressing the side button once goes back to the clock. That's basically your home button. Well, for two seconds to access um, whatever feature you've assigned to that function. Double pressing the button, reach your four favorite apps. Okay. And let's see, if it gets wet, remove, dry completely after use, take your watch off from time to time, clean your radically with soap. And you're all set. Your sentence comes with six months free trial of Fitbit Premium. Now, see, I do like some things on Fitbit Premium, but I think it's way too expensive for what it is, so this is up to you. Um, it looks like it pretty much forces you to start a trial here. I'm assuming, uh, well, I guess you could hit the X probably in the top there and, and exit out of this. Um, but 
I'll try the trial for six months. Be a good thing to review. See if it's worth it. Um, just have to remember to cancel it. So, should I do... Mm, mm, these are the tough choices in life, right? Do you want to commit, save money, but commit for a year? All right, we're going to just do the deep. I probably just agreed to have to renew it or something like that. No, we don't want a backup payment method. And we're on premium. There we go. So we have switched out. And that is actually interesting. The note there did actually switch the device. And there we go. So now we go back to our main screen. We are now set up with the sense. Fitbit sense. So you should be all set and ready to go. Put this on one more time here. That's going to take me a while to get used to the uh, <laughs> the different way that you attach that. Um, I don't, you know, actually I'm kind of torn now if I like this better or not. Because it's... You have to like pop it in there. And then you have to slide it under your skin. <laughs> so, I don't know. I'm up in the air on it. Um, but like I said, I'll be doing a, another video here in a couple days, letting you know my thoughts on it. Um, if I didn't say it already, my previous watch was the Fitbit Versa 2. Um, so it's been a couple generations. Um, I think this is almost two years old now. Um, so to let you know if this is worth the upgrade to go to the new watch and what my thoughts are on it. So be sure to stay tuned for that video, which means subscribe so that you don't miss it. And be sure to like this video if this was helpful for you in any way. And lastly, if you are interested in this uh, product, there is a Amazon link down in the description. Uh, be sure to click that. Uh, helps me out, helps the channel out, um, so I can continue to make more of these videos for you. Again, it's just down in the description. Click the link to be able to purchase this uh, product, this watch on Amazon. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.